Fox McLeod, in my view, made the biggest mistake of playing with fire in the form of the Stalker. Now he's going to get burned. Coming up, our first match on tonight's Battlefront card here at Madison Square Garden. Imhotep taking on The Mask. Or, as we all know him, as Jim Carrey, one part of Donald Trump's Tea Party. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Cairo, Egypt, weighing in at 240 pounds. Imo Death. This is unfair. Why does he have to compete in such a pointless match? Well, you'd have to ask Donald Trump about that. I don't know. Fact is, Imotep has spent less time in the ring lately and spent more time on being the manager to Metal Queen's Women's Championship reign. So I kind of got to wonder if he's going to show some signs of ring rust. His opponent from Edge City, weighing in 190 pounds, the Mass. Imhotep could be the rustiest person in that ring, but I'm sure he could still beat this guy. Well, I'm not so sure, Mark. The fact remains that every time Jim Carrey puts on the, the mask, or Lloyd Christmas, or Ace Ventura in that ring, he can be very unpredictable in his actions. And I think part of that unpredictability is what's catapulted him to the tag team titles, which he won alongside Indiana Jones at time frame. And ladies and gentlemen, we're here live at Madison Square Garden, where WrestleMania 30 won't be. I could see you're still very bitter about that, Mark. Of course, many memorable moments have taken place here at MSG for many wrestling events. Let us hope we can create a memorable event of our own for the Television Wrestling Association here at MSG. Now, Imhotep, nice suplex right on the concrete floor. So far, Imhotep is staying on the offensive which is probably for the best. I'm pretty sure Imhotep is still happy for his charge, Metal Queen, as she was able to turn back Daisy to retain her Women's Championship at time frame. Imhotep being really aggressive in that ring right now. I haven't seen the mask pull in much of an offense, or any momentum for that matter. Imhotep's really focusing on the arms of the mask. And there's a pin. One. Mask gets the shoulder up.
I think in Imhotep's mind is that if he can weaken the arms and weaken the shoulders, it will be very hard for the mask to break up the pinfall. Imhotep may not be the best wrestler nor the fastest, but he could sure be a good strategist. And now the mask, top rope bulldog. Now we're seeing the momentum going into the mask's favor. And he strikes him again with a top rope bulldog. He's really aiming for Imhotep's head. Or he just doesn't know that many moves. The mask, he's just focusing time and time again on the cranium of Imhotep. But Imhotep comes right back with a scoop slam. If Imhotep can keep the momentum in his side, this could be over. I think the mask was just playing possum there when he was kicking his legs in the air, so to speak. Whoa! Top rope dive from the third rope! Neatly done by the mask. But Imhotep with a punch very near to the... It was where the bread basket is, but you know, close to the balls. And he plants the mask right on the face. Oh, come on, Imhotep. Finish this off quickly before something goes wrong. One. Mask still gets the shoulder up. And once again, that cranium being exposed for attack by the mask. Imhotep just can't seem to keep the mask down. Oh no. Imhotep, please get up. The mask, he's feeling wormy. And the fans are actually cheering for the mask. Even though he is not exactly on the side of the angels, I guess they, they would choose the mask over Imhotep. One, two, three! Are you kidding me? The mask pulls off an upset victory. I haven't seen a bigger travesty of justice since the 1965 Academy Awards when Rex Harrison beat out Peter Sellers for Best Actor. But that was a long time ago, Mark. You need to get over it. And now, wait a minute. Imhotep just spat the mask with a lead pipe. Well... I don't know if there's going to be repercussions for Imhotep regarding his actions towards the mask. I have had enough of this foolishness. If the TWA penmanship team will continue to have me lose to imbeciles like him, then I am through competing in this ring. I will devote the rest of my career overseeing Metal Queen's endless title reign.